Hi, I'm Gene Liu, and I'm an otolaryngologist, head and neck surgeon, or ear, nose, and throat doctor here in Los Angeles. And today I wanted to talk about laryngomalacia, or floppy voice box. Laryngomalacia is the most common reason for strider in newborns and infants. Strider is a musical sound that mostly happens with breathing in. As with this next video, sometimes you will see retractions or increased work of breathing with the strider, and other times all you get is the noise. This is a video of a normal adult voice box. This is a normal pediatric voice box with all the same anatomy, just smaller. This is a floppy voice box, very narrow and you can't see the vocal cords. Here is another example. Look at how everything flops in and note the strider. Here is yet another example. This one completely collapses and pinches on itself. All of these videos show different examples of laryngomalacia. Thankfully, with laryngomalacia, almost all children will just simply outgrow the problem. There are times, though, where the child has trouble gaining weight and growing from the increased work of breathing that sometimes also causes difficulty with feeding. In those children, we might have to modify what they eat and when they eat. Because of the increased work of breathing, sometimes that gulping in of air also creates a suction or a pressure where stomach acid comes up, causes more swelling in the voice box, and then that in turn results in more noise, more floppiness, more work of breathing, and you get caught in the cycle where you also get a lot of spit up or reflux that needs to be managed. Thankfully, managing the reflux or spit up might just involve keeping the child propped upright more during feeds and a little bit after may also mean smaller, more frequent feeds so the stomach isn't quite so full. Another strategy is not to wrap anything too tight around the stomach, so having diapers a little bit looser. And there are times where the breast milk of formula may need to be thickened as well. Additionally, we want to make sure that the child is burped frequently so they don't build up a lot of gas in their stomach as well. There are times where modifying the feeding doesn't work and the child needs to put on medications, including Zantac, Pepsid, Prilosec, or Prevacid. In less than 10% of children with laryngomalacia, there's so much floppiness and so much narrowing and struggle to breathe and difficulty feeding that they do need an operation to release or uh, open up the voice box. The details around the surgery really depend on what part of the voice box is floppy and causing the issue. Thankfully though, surgery is really rare. At the end of the day, if your child has strider, it's generally a good idea to see an ear, nose, and throat doctor to figure out exactly what the cause is and if it's found to be laryngomalacia, thankfully most of those can be managed without medications or surgery. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any additional questions, please leave it in the comments below.